So let me try to explain life. to you what I what I understand. So wait uh, for recording purposes and like somebody that will in the future or right now maybe we're streaming uh we're gonna try to implement adts adts what does it stands for lemos no no no. we're not doing necessarily adts we are gonna start we're doing recursive, recursive, recursive times. okay we're uh, doing recursive times we I think want nata makes wants to make an interface to make to make the constructors first so we can just Use the same interface for ADTs and like. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> but anyway, we, ADTs stands for algebraic data types, which is. Um, um, it is well, a, a. It is a. It is a, 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 a very. I can. I know a very good way to explain. Like, imagine you have sets, right? And you want to collect all those sets. Like, you want to make a union of those sets together, and that is your domain. And then you want a way that you are able to map back. Because think about this, you have a function, right, that maps A to B, two sets. But then if you're making a union of all the sets, then you don't know from which set the thing came from. So the algebraic data type is a way that you can tell uh, the inverse. So like yeah, so it's that, a way to make a... That's a, that's the proper explanation for it. So if if... <coughs> if you don't understand what Mageta said, you can just understand it is as like the beefed version of like enums oh, and tuples with steroids. So it's kind of like that. that that's, that's the easiest possible normie explanation uh, for it. So that, that, that's pretty much it. So I don't know, man. People, people think today of enums as like, I don't know, go iotas or something. Yeah, but that, that's, that's where the steroids come in. So it's better. The steroids. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> It is fundamentally better. Anyway. Let me just check the chat here to see if some weirdo will show up. I will be very surprised. I will be very surprised as well. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, let's see. <coughs> okay. Uh... So we want to make a let rack. So can, you were about to explain what Nata said. Yeah, so, so what I understand what about what he said. He said that we should make a, a let uh, in a very similar node to a let, uh, mm -hmm. but this thing would have the it would have the type also. So the type you would have a type annotation. So let let me write that here. So it would be I don't know recursive, and then you're gonna have a function type with a notation of the function type. So this will have will have have to have a type at, at some point. Then you can put mm -hmm. that in the context and check the body. So it needs to have a body as well. So this is the expression. And as far as I can tell, uh, this can call itself. That is kind of like what I understood. I'm not 100% sure of that. And then how we would type check that? We would type check this and see if it matches this. And if it does, we are fine. Uh, and that's all what I, what I got from Nathan's explanation. Is it that simple? No, I don't know where I don't know how to use it though. So but can wait, you give an example is, is of it, a recursive? It, weren't we going to do recursive types? L like this is a recursive. Like let me let me read what he sent. Just a second. So okay, uh, try to implement the recursion. Oh, okay, he just wants some normal oh, so recursion, that's not, right? No, that's not recur uh, recursive types. It's just normal Yes, recursion. just normal recursion, yes. So, recursion with a let rec node. Do like uh, a letting, but with an annotation of the function type. Of the function type. Of oh, the it is the function that we are in. Oh, I see, yes. Makes okay, sense. that makes sense now. <laughs> yeah. uh, then you can put that in the context to check the body. In the context, I think he means the... The type checking, the typer context. Yeah, our environment, right? Yeah. Uh, and see if the whole thing match the annotation. Yeah, that's, that sounds really simple. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds really simple. I think the evaluation... The evaluation, I think we, we're just going to uh, use the recur Haskell recursion behind the hood to the, the no our yeah. recursion. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think that's okay, it. Okay, but then the problem is, how are we going to identify that? 
identify what you say. How are we going to pick a piece of code? I don't know, Factorio, for instance. Oh, uh, we can do like... A... We can do an example of that. Let's make an example. No, no, dude, like, you know why Okamo and F Sharp have the rack? That's why. Yeah, but that's lame. I want something Yeah, I smarter. know, but in Lisp, okay. Let me, let me give you the... Where are you doing the, the stuff? Uh, Factorio.sw. Factorio, okay. So in Lisp, you often... I mean, closure, I think Como Lisp is by default. You have this. What the heck is that? So it is a function that, well, recur, so recurs to this function you're calling. So for example, if you have the foom, abc, you don't need to annotate here, uh, like this, the foom hack, something like this. We could do this, I think it would be easier. But we can just do this, like, oopsie. Like, I don't know, integer, and then, Oh man, the silverware mold here would help. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree. And then we recur, but passing a parameter. So let's say if it's like, oopsie, it's as expressions, I forgot. And, and you need to do, no, you need to do an if also. Because I, yes, there are base case. Yeah. Do we have an implicit program? Uh, we don't, right? No, that, but that's fine because an if is already like an next expression by itself. We just need to do, need to do the branches. Oh, I see. Uh, so I actually. Oh, I did. I don't know what I did. I did a, a Emacs shortcut. Oh crap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Oopsie. Okay, you're here. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, exactly like that. Yeah. It sounds so excited, man. Okay. Yeah, because we don't. It sounds easier. And it seems easier now that we have an example. I am engine, and I I am an engineer. I need examples to live. You know. Uh, uh. Oh, greater than zero. I think you can do equal though. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Then it's, Actually, it's, no worries. No, yeah. Then it we will need to always go to else. Yeah. No, no. Let's, let's just skip this. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. So. We yeah, need but to do notice that you need to go for the body and see if you find a recur on the body, and rev and put it and okay, you annotate the whole abstraction you are currently in to be recursive, right? That is a little hard on the parser, but I think we can do it. <coughs> uh, is that hard on the parser? You say. A bit, I think. Oh, that sucks. Because... I mean, not not that bad. No, but it is bad, because the recur depends on the scope, man. I still think it would be easier having a thing here. That's no, not it would be no, But totally as you easier. said, or... <laughs> this. Let's stop for a moment and just see. Do we need to identify that? And, the, and then if we do, why? No, oh, you don't. As I said, you can go get the label and then find in the body the label. If you do, then that's recursive. But yeah, that's it. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we can do the look ahead I think mm. no 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 but I'm not it, thinking in terms of the parsing I'm not thinking in oh terms man, of the it would be it would be very stupid if we had the tokenizer because well we would just tokenize everything and that's it like we can search in the list if the word is there I'm very curious to know what the heck will happen if you try to put this in the wrap. Just a moment. I... yeah, I don't think it will work. Oh, you need to put everything on the same line, right? No, we don't. Oh yeah, we can load the file. Yeah, that's uh, sneaky. Unbound verb. Oh, we don't have greater than. <laughs> okay, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just... yeah, this thing works. <laughs> Uh, that's for oh uh, parentheses. You don't need them. No, 
I think you do need them because the if this is the predicate, this is the then, and I think this is no, the... but this is an application, right? Of zero to nothing. Oh, okay, you mean like this then. Hello, Nathan. I I'm glad you're here. Can you talk to us today? Oops. Okay, so it's like that. Yeah, but I, I think you need to. Okay, so we are discussing uh, what you sent before about doing the recurve. <coughs> and then the first reaction that I had while trying to understand what you said was, I want to see what will happen if we try to load that in the repo. Load what in the repo? Load the, an example of recursion. Uh, Without implementing it? Yeah. Oh, I guess I'm bound this variable, right? Expecting white space, so do I have the brackets correctly? Mm, the I zero I is wrong. I don't. It is wrong. The zero, <laughs> the, the zero is wrong, but try. Let's try this. If we're doing like that, it is wrong. Predicate of type integer needs to be a Boolean in an if expression. What? x is an integer and we're comparing with zero no but I, is this our comparison i actually don't remember oh equals equals isn't it no it is just one equal are you sure i what see is there the type but of this thing? i see there but look on the prelude let me look yeah do equal equal there <laughs> yeah look equal equal I don't think that's No, it's not, it's not equal equal, man. You can to totally see in Dude, the show. Dude, there, there right? I think there is wrong because we have the less than and that doesn't exist on the... No, we don't have greater than. That's Dude, look at the prelude, not that garbage, man. Look at the prelude. I don't know what you mean, man. Oh, the prelude. I'm in the rap. Or did they implement it as operators instead of... I think it's on expression instead. Let's see. Yeah, no, it's we implemented it as operators. Wrong. We implemented it's it as operators. operators. Where are we declaring operators? I don't remember. Here, types. Types.hs. And then we have line 191. So we gotta see on the parse. Maybe it's a bug on the type checking of operators, man. No, uh, well. <laughs> it must be are a you bug. So it, must, try, it must be a bug here. I agree. Go on the repo and try to do equals like a zero, one. See what happens. That's, yeah, that's, that's not a bad idea. So you do one. One, one. True. So it doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, but it's the if, right? The if is, is giving. Oh, the oh if what is, is the broken. type of that? Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Ask what is the type of that? Oh, true. No. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, it's a bug on the <laughs> The rample helped us what? discover a bug. <laughs> What the heck? It prints true and then it's <laughs> one. What? I, I totally don't trust that. It, uh, we're just giving more reasons for not to not to use the the tooling. No, it's the opposite. The tooling is what saved us. Uh, yeah, like I could write the ST, would still be wrong. You just avoid operators, right? Yeah, no, but I I am totally in favor of transforming the operators into native functions later. Okay, so the problem needs to be in here. Yeah, but... Oh... Now I remember what you could do. <laughs> oh, I remember. Yeah, the problem was that you don't have a variad, right? Mm -hmm. So we could not describe the type of something that is variadic. So it would not work like that. But what we could do is like a nested like binary operator or something. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, so the problem needs to live in here. So... Equal... So, <clears throat> so peer x, it is this. Is that working now? Yeah, so it, it gotta be here, right? Okay, this works. Let me see. You see the screen there? Yeah, see this mismatch. Yeah, so, so it, it is on this. It isn't this peer here. stuff. That so makes total see. sense because to this find? this is a number. This is a number. The type yeah. of this is a number. So and I'm, what I'm, is xs? It is a list of numbers. Oh, dude, we're just returning the yes, first occurrence. Yes, yes that's <laughs> stupid. Yeah. Uh, so it, it is okay if we got nothing. 
Wait, wait. What happens if you got nothing? No, if you got nothing, that means that we are good. That means that we didn't find something that is different. So the, all the types of the operands are equal. Yeah, but uh, then... Then so the we type need is to... Boom. No, we need to do a fold. We need to do a fold comparing each one of them. No, no, no. It's always bool on the equal. No, it is, it is a bool, but we need to discover if they are all equal. What? Yeah, look, we want to do operation equality, right? Dude, how would bool change there? Bool can change between false and true. Dude, it's a type. It's not. We don't want the value. Oh, no, you're talking about this. I'm talking about valuation. I'm stupid. This is t-bool. Done. Um, um, okay, that should be enough, I guess. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. <laughs> yeah, it's a compiling. Dude, what is it my impression, or it got faster to compile? Uh, I'm not certain. We can try with oh. stack later. I think it got worse, actually. For me, it got faster. I don't of know. course it got faster. It was impossible to you. Oh, yeah. Okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it was, like, I don't know, one week, right? It would be fast. Yeah, it definitely got worse. This is taking too long already. Okay. So let's ask for the type of this. Awesome. So okay. I'll try the if. So now we can try to do the examples <coughs> factorial. About oh, variable. that is why we need it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, and I need to. Fix I mean, this we can do. Point. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So, Nathan, are you there? Let me check. He's muted. So let me chat. It's really bad for yep. me. Yep. He said yep. I can. Okay. I can be. So his. I want to. I want to ask you something. So how would the would the node in the expression AST for recursion would look like? And, 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 not only that, how we would identify that we need to produce this node instead of a, just a normal uh, older expression? You know what I mean? It's typing. It's typing. Let rec. Let rec. Yeah, so he's saying that... So you need to have a keyword function. for that. As I said, we don't. No, you, but you do. Be you hard. need to have some sort of something to... Inf no, you can the you can look ahead. Parser. You can look ahead in the parser in the body and see if you find the factorial. No, no, but you can't because what? that yeah, because that could just be you are using a previous thing, right? Not necessarily what you just declared. And also, that's really fucking bad for the parser, right? Oh, I it is bad. I agree. But I can do a look ahead. Why not? And if you're using something that was previously defined after, then you just replace by the recursion. I don't get the issue. Okay. Okay, see. Uh, it's a choice, but take a look. When you are using like Fibonacci inside Fibonacci, uh, usually the normal behavior that you have is that it is something that is still that is already in the environment, right? Something that was like declared previously. Yeah. So the left rack came back like with the thing itself. You see? So it does shadowing with the thing that I'm declaring itself. In the half scale, maybe it's by default, right? Because well you want to be able to do things like infinite list and such. But we cannot do that, so I don't see the point of being recursive by default. Wait. Wait, I, 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 can you repeat that, Nathan? Because I didn't get. Yeah. So go back to your code there. Which one? The example. Uh, so as we saw, as I, uh, as I said, like it's unbounded, right? Because well, it's unbounded. It's not recursive. Uh, so it is looking for a factorial, like when you are in the body that was like previously defined. Yes. From what you are doing, like right now. So that's the normal behavior, right? You have a variable, you just look in the environment. Yes. And, well, you don't put the name of the thing to evaluate like, its body. That's just for recursion. So when you declare something as recursive, then you do that. And then you are like overwriting the, the, the default, right? 
Why can't you, you do that all the time, though? Well, I guess it can, like Haskell is, right? Oh, so we do have I... the choice. Sure you do. Okay, Magetta, so we don't need to have the keyword. Ah... Uh... No, 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 the keyword... You means, have some problems, man. The keyword, you mean the, the phone hack, something like oh, this, yeah, right? the let red... The, fir the first thing is, you will not have shadowing, like, on, on those things. Like, you will not have that anymore. Okay, you can but see I... Why. Yeah, okay, I can, yeah, I can see why. Yeah. And the other thing is, yeah, like... Why yeah, is and I don't care, but you guys can... Yeah, do. why is half skill good on that? Because, well, you can do things like define the value in terms of itself, like, not only function, right? Yeah, so you can do like infinite list and such. That why is really useful. But yeah, you guys can go with that. It's just even worse for the implementation. No, why is it worse? Why is isn't, it even it worse? Isn't just a you are just saying that you have to look ahead. Of course, that's worse. No, no, no. Why not do that all the time? Like in Haskell, like when you define. When uh, when we we start the the type as shaping. I as I just said every time you will declare something you will look ahead to you're just saying about, about the parser will be more costly that's it no I still uh, don't understand that I still don't understand uh, no uh, it, it it is expensive to look on the body of the no, function no, 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 I get I, that. no no I mean it I'm not sure if it's only a parser problem no no, no. no it it should be what I'm saying people is like. We don't have to touch the parser if I'm understanding things. That's what I'm saying. What I'm understanding is, when you go to the type checking and the evaluation of this thing, when we... we oh, yeah, yeah, you are correct, Lewis. You are correct. Yeah, so I'm not crazy, so I can explain. So that's Yeah, it has nothing to do with the parser. There's nothing to do with the parser. Oh, I see. So then we... But here's the thing. I was thinking of the node. Of adding the node on the yeah, but ASP. then we don't need to. So if, if you do what yes. I said, so if we ignore that and make it by default, then we don't need the node. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, and I and I like that approach because I don't care. I, I never I like I don't even remember the last time I used shadowing. So if we want to have shadowing, okay, we need to do the we need to do the the new node here. We can here. do a death shadow something. <laughs> what a name. Uh, Anyway, anyway, so I uh, let's do the first draft as as what I said. So first the type checking, you go up here. So when you're type checking a declaration, yeah, so you have a here, problem right? there. You still need two nodes. I still need a node. Why? I don't understand. Yeah. Uh, because suppose that right now you can use the declaration for a value and a function, right? You can use the same node, okay? Okay, we are doing that. Yeah, but you cannot do that if they will be recursed by default because of a value. A value should not be recursed in a strict language. That's a fair point. What do you think, Baguette? Mm -hmm. So did you get the problem? Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, that's a that's kind of an oversight because if we want to ha be able to have declarations of functions and values using the same node, then we have a problem of we're gonna have to add the node some exception behavior here which will be look really bad. Oh, or yeah. well, that's least of the concerns I think, but yeah, there is another problem because for the let track you need a type annotation necessarily. And for the value, you would have to annotate that every time. Oh, yeah, because it, then you don't know how to terminate the type, right? The type. Yeah, we checking. don't know how to terminate it. Uh... Mm -hmm. But you can still do the same and just do two different nodes. One for functions that are recursed by default and one for values. Yeah, that's an option. That's what my, what we need to think. What, what Which trade-off is the... The best one for our case. The things that you chose are still the same things, all the same trade-offs. You just need one extra node. You just cannot have one. That's the only point. It doesn't change the choices that you guys uh, took, that, like the trade-offs, right? So just separate them and start separating the nodes. Let's see. Okay, so it would be something like 
this and then we put, put fun here here and they will be exactly the same but instead of that we're gonna have a veil val and then fun here like that and then on a the fun on a fun we do some sort of special behavior to always uh, put the 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 name Limitation. in the context, right? Yeah, okay. Then. With the body being the body that we are already, like, the bo the, again, the body, kind of. I don't know how to explain that. Um, and yeah. Here, we have the I don't... Maybe. I don't think we need or should use that expression, I guess. Uh, Wait, I'm confused. What are you talking about? Because the current function, right? I think is always a function. So why would you put expression there, right? You would just need to check more stuff, I guess. Oh, because this need being a value, this can uh, we can be more strict about it. We can say it's a little. No, no, no. I'm talking about fun. Oh. And maybe we don't need to use expression, and we can use like something specific to function, right? So we don't need to check it because, well, it will always be a fun. Oh, so then it would be any abstraction, I guess. Yeah, let's think about that. So, to start, what is the syntax for the, the, the function declaration? It is this. Function declaration funds. Here, it's this. Uh, okay, so you have the name there and all those things. What do we need, right? No, we need the same thing as in the abstraction. It's exactly the same. That's why we are converting to an abstraction. Not really, because the output type is required. Yeah, it's not maybe anymore. You mean this? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so it is exactly the same as in the abstraction, aside from this not being a maybe. Mm-hmm. I think that's fine. So if we go to the types, instead of expression, this would be the, the name. Oh, the name is already there, sorry. The name, oh, this is the name of the parameter though. Oh, we need to, we are doing the whole, the whole. Oh, we're doing the curring stuff. Yeah, I think we have to think about this a bit. I don't want to change that though. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can do just. Yeah, I guess what we want to do, maybe it's like declaration, function, text, type, and expression. I guess that might work. And then the thing is, the parser requires the thing to be, like, have, have an output type, right? Yes. And, yeah, the only weird thing... The, it is very weird that we have in here and in here. That's kind of weird. That's, oh. that's... Yeah, because <laughs> we're gonna have to pass that down, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the weird part indeed. And it's not only on the, <laughs> the output, it's on the input, right? Because... Yeah, you see the expression there, the node that you generate, it could be like lambdas inside of lambdas, and they will have like uh, annotated parameters, right? But we also have the whole type head there on type. But oh, well, wait, I didn't get it. It wouldn't look exactly like this? No, no, I'm talking about the ST, nothing to do with this. You're talking about the ST, which one you're talking, sorry? A declaration of a function. Okay, so you're talking about this. So we have the type there. It's like the, the whole type, right? Yeah. Like, and then we have expression. There are like nested lambdas, right? Yes. So, yeah, that part is the weird one because we have like those uh, nested lambdas and they have like order types there, like an <laughs> in the input, and even the output of the last one, right? Uh, but yeah, I guess that's okay. So. Okay, so everything is now broken. So let's parse that thing now. Um, so, 
we're gonna have a death foom. And a death value. And they are completely not the same. So I guess I would, for now I would just copy paste. Later on we can make it pretty. I don't care. So the death foom would be the declaration, but it would be the specific if the declare fun. So it's gonna be this. And we're also gonna require the return type. And this is already okay. So this is done, I guess. This is exactly as it was. And then this guy will be the def uh, val p. And then we can replace this guy. So what is the syntax for that? Let's go to the a file that we did. Def value. Aliases. Def type. Value decorations. Oh, we, we decided on def let. That's cool. Wait, what the fuck is that name, man? <laughs> no, that's a cool name. I like it. Doesn't it. make any sense, dude. <laughs> is it def or let? What the fuck is define that? Define a let. No, that's define. That's define bullshit. a let. That's perfect. Sure, if that's a macro, but. <laughs> dude, actually, I think we should skip. I think we should because you think about this like. In Lisp, do you remember the set and the set queue thing? Yeah, I remember that. I think we should stick with that, man. Because when we add symbols, it will make less sense to keep like this. Like all names in it. Wait. You want to do... Like, s yeah, just do like this. Set and then a comma. Eight, one, two, three. Like this. Oh, I could type there. I'm stupid. I was watching you from here. <laughs> okay, but let's. Ah, uh, man, I don't, like I don't know. I, I, I. Oops. Like this or. Dude, it doesn't make sense if it's not mutable to call something sad. That's the problem that I have with that. No, it is just. Are we gonna? Are we gonna this, push? Right? Uh, are we gonna push mutability or immutability as a standard? Oh, this question. is creating a symbol. I, I get what you guys Pushing mean, but this is not... <laughs> I get what you guys mean, but this is not updating or anything or doing. But that's what it means. Well, it is like a let. That's what I mean. Oh, that's what it's doing, but that's not what it's conveying. Yeah, I don't know. Name. Just do let then. Who cares? I get this pissed. No, it we, is. We lose most of the time discussing bullshit like this, man. No, you consider well, that we don't have the time to deliver anything, man. Like we're not doing. getting paid to deliver anything. Yeah, the 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 worm in your brain is getting worse. That's the conclusion. The worm in my brain. Uh, you you need to you need to remember that you're memeing about it. You're not pushing. Him to do <laughs> I was tied into like the duality, right? And exactly. Suddenly consume, I'm becoming Breno suddenly. <laughs> in no time, I'll be programming Acme in Go. I I think that because it's easy to change, because it's easy to change this in the future to do the if we need it, like it's gonna be really bad if you don't do the set queue and the set later on if we. When we decide to get symbols, because this is easy to change in the parser, let's just stick with this thing. Why not define? What do you think, Nathan? I'm okay with this. Fine. Okay, or define is or fine. we do? What about we do like Perl? What is the Perl way? <laughs> no, that's worse. Define <laughs> is the one. <laughs> there is like uh, this is for access. You think there is our as well? Our variable. Our variable, yeah. <laughs> Communist bugs money meme. Insert here. Okay, so it's just separated by spaces, the name and the val in the literal. Okay, so yeah. let's go. Yeah, this one is easy though. So you pick the name and then you have the bunch of spaces, then you need to pick the, the literal itself. So this would be literal. Uh, literal P. Oh, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the literal p lives in the expression.hs, and this file is being imported oh, there. No. So this Dude, entire I... function we need to go. Um, space. It's really, 
it's really weird to me that Haskell has this constraint because it's lazy. I would expect it to be like resolve this kind of problem. It is resolvable. It's just not the standard. Um. Okay, I think so. Okay, I I think I get it. So they might block it so you don't like accidentally uh, reach an invalid state on imports, right? Yes. Recur recursive. Yes. Yeah. So, okay, so this is now done. done. Yeah, I think this. I think we're done actually. So it's all of this can go. This is all because of the function stuff. And then we do def um, val declare val, which is basically a name and a literal. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, that should be that should be enough. But unfortunately, um, f at least for now, I'm gonna move this function to the other file. I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to move this stuff for to there, I guess. Oh no no no, we don't we don't. We just move this thing. Okay, that's cool. Mm, this will go. There stuff, etc etc. Okay, okay. So I think we should be already parsing this. Now let's type check. Piper. Okay. So we need to do another pattern matching, I guess, here, right, Nathan? Wait, wait. Uh, you're not done parsing, right? I like you type and. Wait, what are you returning from the, the uh, declaration function? Declaration function? Oh, here you mean. Okay. Yeah, like the, the fun P. Like, what is it returning as a note? It's returning this. Uh, yeah, what is that return type there? It is the... Oh, this is not an option anymore, right? Not only that, but it is supposed to be the type of the whole function. It's supposed to be the type of the whole function. Can't we already get the type of the whole function? I, I get what he means. Like, it needs to include the parameters, yeah. right? The, the part say already got actually the yeah. yeah. The weird part. Okay. Okay. By the way, we probably could change that in the future to do in a, in a memory. I'm not sure if we really need those things, but right now it's the way that I guess we can implement it. Okay. So, um, okay, but I think this is, this is it, right? So it, we keep the same weird stuff in which the we are kind of like passing through uh, the thing to the the curing of the abstraction because you're gonna use Wait, a fold. Do you have uh, a list of types there? A list of types. What do you mean? There. Like what? Of, what is args? Args. Args is this. No, no, no. As a data structure, is that the tuple of the name and the yes the type? So yeah, we need those types, right? Oh wait. We need those types. I'm confused. Yeah. Yeah. So you have a list of types, right? That you got for the for the parameters, and you have the return type. Yes. We need to transform that in a type error, also using a fold to put on the declaration function of, I guess. Yeah, we need it. Oh, so you're gonna... Are you sure we need that? Yeah, we, we are not you. We are not doing that before, it was working fine. Well, because now it's recursive, right? <laughs> oh! That's why. Like, what is the type of Fibonacci inside Fibonacci, right? What is we the type of Fibonacci it. inside Fibonacci? It is the same as the original Fibonacci. There, but what it is, like, is you getting the parameter type? Oh, that's what? why. I understand. I understand. Oh, that, that's kind of weird, but okay. What? No type inference. Yeah, no type inference. <laughs> 
And also, it's basically the same. The only thing it changes is that the output is a fire. So we are not really putting a lot more syntax. It's literally, oh, now the output type is a fire. Okay, but then we're gonna pick the, the list of args and we're gonna carry them in an e abstraction. And so, but the difference is that we're gonna start from the left instead of starting from the right. And the last Wait, one. Can you repeat the, that? Yeah, I can repeat. So imagine factorial, right? Imagine factorial. So sure. we need to we need to say that the type of this is actually an integer. So th this entire list of of parameters carried, right? So lambda, 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 lambda. Imagine that we have multiple ones instead of just one, right? Okay. So we have multiple lambdas. And the final lambda needs to needs to pick the, the last parameter and return this, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the opposite of what we were doing before. Because before we were doing the the, the fold starting from the right. It is still a fold right. This is still a fold right, you say. Yeah, the output is the initial value, and then you go like wrapping the. Wait. I guess. Wait. So it's exactly as this, but instead of e abstraction, is zero then. Yeah, I guess. So let's put cons in here. Oh, it is not. This function I can't abstract out, unfortunately. So first abstraction, and this will be first type. Copy that, but we, we get rid of the text, right? Yeah, we get rid of the text. And we don't need the, the names, we just need the types. So these all go away. This will be T arrow. And that will go from last type to return type. We don't have bodies. Right? Yeah, this prelude last args is the return type, I guess, right? No, this this is. Uh, Isn't that the initial value? No, this is the list. This is the list. The entire the entire couple. But we need to unzip those. So we do. Uh, unzip. Wait, what? Why are we using last? Because we start the fold passing the first one here. You see. I can I can try to explain a little bit later, but we need to do. Okay, the so we don't need that. Uh, we have two things, Lamus. We have a list of types of the parameters, and we have the return, right? Yes. So we will just fold right using the initial argument as the output type. Yes, I agree. So there is no last story in it because they are already separated. I don't think you get what you're doing then. I can try to explain it another way. So what we're doing is exactly as the abstraction, as you already said, but we, we don't care about the names. This is exactly the same thing. I'm saying it's still a fold right. No, it is a fold right. It is a fold right here. I'm not saying it's not. It is a fold right, but we don't care about the names, right? And args is a list of tuples. Okay. So we need to unzip those because we, we don't want the names. Okay, got that. And then we're gonna have a list of types, right? Which is the list of types in the uh, in the parameter list of the definition. Yes. The then we start the fold by picking the the initial state being the the first one. No, that's why I said it's not. You said it is not. It's the return type. So what you are saying is that it should be the return type, you say. 
So again, we have two things, right? A list of types. There are the parameter types, and like outside oh, no, no, of no, no, that. No, wait, wait, wait! I said BS. I said BS. I said BS. This is not picking the first one. This is picking the list and removing the the, the, the last one. So init um, this is equal to this. Okay. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> so I agree with First you. First of all, can you like separate like more clearly the part that you are messing with the types? And yes, the I that can. You are messing with the abstract. I can. So this is generic. This is just abstraction, and this is for the types. Okay. Yes. So the three last lines are regarding the type, right? Uh, the least li last, the three last lines, yes. Okay. So what is the first? First type doing there. Uh, one sec. Where, sorry? The first type, right? Yeah. So the first type should be the return type. Yeah. Should be the, the, should what? Be the I'm not understanding. Wait, wait. You wait. Just, just wait. Okay. So we're going to do a, f we have a function. Okay, let me explain now. So what is this doing? This is a fold that starts from the right. The initial state of the fold will be the return type. Is that, is that okay? Yeah. Is that okay? okay. Then, then, we're gonna pick right. the types, right? We're gonna fold them using the arrow. Yeah, are the arguments this. in the correct order for the arrow? Or do we need to do a flip? They are. Yeah. We may need a flip. You may. I think right. they are in the right order. Uh, fold R. Um, Types. Fold R. GCI. Fold R. Fold R picks the element first. Oh, so, so it's. No, wait, it's so. Wait. Well, that's correct. Yeah. That's correct. What a boss. <laughs> okay, so I thought so I was wrong because I thought it was the inverse, but anyway, that was right. Yeah, this is not generic at all. So it is divided like this, Nathan. And then instead of uh, return type, we put full type here. But if that works. Okay, so what is this doing? This is picking this. The abstraction part is exactly the same as before. I just changed the name. And this is wrong. I actually can go back to the previous names. Okay. And so this is the exact same thing as the abstraction. And to do the type is the same fold, but you do the construct with the arrow. We don't need to do this because we don't have the maybe. So we don't need to do the nothing here. So the T arrow is the folding function. Um, wait. We have already this, man. Look. Look. Ha ha ha. We already have that function. Oh, I remember the curve is <laughs> okay. Yeah. I remember that. It is the curved arrow. So we just pick a list and, and that will curry for us. And then you pass the return type and then it curries. Using the return type. Oh man, this is perfect. This is magic. Right? This is totally perfect. So it's going to be curried arrow. Then you pass the list, which is going to be types. And then you pass the return type. And then you're done. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna maintain the that. There. Wait, wait, wait. Where do you pass the arrow? We don't, because the, we just. It's ask... always a type arrow. No, it depends. It depends in which type implemented the instance of the curryable. Oh no! Ah. And the and the type Dude. data type uses the arrow as the curry. <laughs> Okay, okay. So it's perfect use case. Wow. Um, okay. So I think we should be able to build. I actually want to see the error message, so let's go with stack. Okay. So the types, 
death room. Oh, okay, it's missing one thing. Okay, forgot about that. So this is now the mandatory type. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, next. Oh, the type checking. Oh, it's gonna be just a warning. That's fine. Did I just copy paste it? Yeah. Cool. That's a good sign. Okay. So. Not in scope. Uh, are we importing the correct stuff here? We are not. Literal P? Is that the name? I don't remember. There's somebody watching. Hello, somebody. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, you are a very. You're gonna go to heaven, man. I pretty much agree with that. Verbal not in scope, death from P. Death from P. <laughs> what is this not that? I am confused. Declaration. I'm confused, how exactly is not in the scope if I am importing? Uh, maybe you're talking about bots, Magueta. There's that possibility, right? Let's go! Oh! <laughs> Let's go, Nathan, let go. <coughs> We're holding behind uh, a video on, like, uh, like, a Star Wars, like, people switching to F, sh to F sharp from C sharp, and people... Hold it back! Get out! I see. Okay, so now just, just a little. Oh, the evaluator now has the. Oh, they have the wrong names. I have to fix. We have to fix the names though. <coughs> so I already get confused with these files, man. Like I don't even know what is CL anymore. <laughs> oh, this is command line. Okay. We never open this file because I. I that is done forever. Um, uh, typer. Uh, the typer. We also need to change this to fun. And you're gonna have an error uh, when a warning talking about exhaustiveness, but that's fine. Okay, so now we need the current arrow, which means that we need to import. It's already there. I re export <coughs> this. <coughs> we are not. Current arrow. That's a good sign. Oh, I hate these warnings. Yeah, but uh, I, remove, I always remove them and then we add more. And then I remove yeah, them and I dude, add they more. They don't stop. <laughs> dude, what the hell? Well, have you tried not adding them? <laughs> I guess that would solve the problem, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, we need to wrap this guy in adjust because now we don't have the maybe by nature. The evaluator. Oh, I forgot um, to ignore the type. Def fun. We, the we have the type here. And those are the two errors. So now everything else is a warning. The typer. Cool. Uh, for now, I will ignore the type in the typer as well, because I just want to see this thing being parsed correctly. Next, that the rebel is not wrong. <coughs> Which lines? Wait, the rebel? Yeah, because what the rebel needs to be aware if you're do, trying to do. Why does the rebel want to know? Oh, I see. This is the last modification made, right? Yeah, if you if you're doing 122, if you're doing a declaration, the rebel will behave differently differently mm -hmm. if you're just doing an. Yeah, to add an the state moment, right? No, not because of the state model specifically, it's because the behavior no, is need to add to the environment. I yeah. get it. Uh, oh, 
was her name? Oh, great. So now, uh, now we... Next run. Test. Next run. No, I was going to do it again. But anyway, so let's pick a declaration here. Uh, this. It's building a game, man. Why? Yeah, because it uses a total, totally different path than the stack. Oh, I see, 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 see. So, like, it doesn't have the thing shared? Yeah, yeah. makes sense. Completely <coughs> different. So, after getting this parse, we can start ch type checking and, and evaluating, and we need to update the repo as well. Oh, dude, I'm looking at this dude, Nathan, the playlist you sent. Dude, this dude made a, a bunch of like cool things already. Like he made uh, compiler services, like an SDK. He made a like a a mode for adding a not a mode, like you know a proj file. Like CS proj, F FS proj. Like he did all of that. He did a scheme proj. Like, you know, when you make a project in .NET and you have, like, I don't know, FS project. Oh, but you always need that? And what that does oh. for you besides make your thing run? Well, that just, like, is collecting the bunch of, like, files together in, like, for the compiler to know where to com start compiling from. Oh, you are saying that he, writing in his language, he can yes. write that? He did that already. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a good approach. <laughs> yeah, it, it is pretty cool. I liked it. Here's... Let me send Dude, it you. See? Yeah, this is correct, Jonathan. Hey. So, how did it call it? Uh, first zoom. First zoom. Wait, is that the language? Yeah, it's about the project. a scheme compiler that targets... Yeah, that's the language. And the project. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, the file, right? The, yeah. the project. Uh, I think he called it SC proj. Uh, SCM. Oh, SCM. okay. It's I like see. Steam. Yeah. I see. People, focus. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this is correct, right, Nathan? Look. Uh, for that, the phone? Yes. Uh, yeah. Integer, integer. Yeah, that looks fine. Yeah, it is, it is this. Okay, so now we can start type checking. So, type checking this would be, I guess, would be easy. Uh, if you are, uh, <coughs> if you are a, do we need the accumulator or we do need the accumulator? Okay. So, do we need to check for conflicts, Nathan? Mean? Conflicts. Yeah, let's suppose that you're defining something already defined. What are you gonna you're do? You're like updating the value in the environment. Then like, it like works the same thing. way. You are mm -hmm. shadowing with your own name. Okay, so it's basically going to be very similar to this. Uh, instead of def it's going to be def val. We're going to have a name and we're going to have a literal. So, I'm gonna type check the literal, I guess, right? Nata? We type check I don't know why you, you keep calling things literal. No, oh, that it's is the not. name of the node. What are you talking about? It, it is not. It is the name of the node. What are you talking about? It is about? not. What the F are you talking about? <laughs> Dude, go there on declaration ADT. Hmm. That's an expression. Where? Wait, what, what do you mean, dude? That's wrong, dude. Ah. That's an expression, man. <laughs> oh, we're gonna allow the, we're gonna allow the person no, to make that's an entire e thing. No, no, that's an <laughs> illiteral, yes, makes sense. Why would that be literal, dude? Oh, because I, I didn't think that you... 
Like, I imagine you doing this. Not this. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's also valid, right? Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. Valid. Um, um, okay, so I was here. Okay, so I'm going to rename this to value. And also to value. So that's the case that parser is wrong. So I need to change it here. So this is expression. can do some sort of fancy stuff instead of putting the, the literal there. That's fine. Type. So we're going to type check the, the value, pick the type of that, and then just return the, the name with that type. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's actually very similar to, to the, the fun stuff, but now we're going to change that. So this is the type of the that function, right? So we, as far as I understood, we insert first and type check later. Is that it, Nathan? I can't well. hear you. Wait, I said, uh, oh. if you, you can. Okay. So that's going to Is there be... a way to type check first and then insert later? No, no, we, we need to do the opposite because this type needs to be available if you're calling factorial inside factorial. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's no other option. No, but I'm just confirming to see if I'm understanding things. <coughs> um, Let's see, is the person still there watching us? I mean, there's three persons. There's three I get that they are bots, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it could be. But <laughs> they are bots. <laughs> No, it's literally, if you take a look oh, on the list of just, viewers... One person just left, man. No, no, yeah. So, take a look on the oh, list of me. viewers, and then Google their name. Like, they are literally appearing on a site of listing bots Wait, on Twitch. does Twitch show the people? Not Twitch. Like, there are sites for that. Is oh, that I it, see. people? We I type see. check and ignore the, the, the value, because the, we already know the type. I don't know... We what type check they? and ignore. ignore. Yeah, you already know, right? Yeah, yeah. we already know. So that's... No, no, we don't ignore. Like We don't. Uh, yeah, you have to check if the annotation is equal to what we oh, just... Oh, so this would be the... Yeah, but the return should be this. So that, right? this it will be expected. Yeah, you see, but the return is the same as you already have, though. No, but we should check. We need to check for that. We don't know. Yeah. So then... You need to say if this. Shouldn't we kind check first? We need to do reduction, I guess. I don't know what you're talking about. We are comparing types. Every single time you compare types, you said that we need to do kind checking. And we also need to reduce. Every single time you compare types, we reduce first. Yeah, because they could be different types. <laughs> <laughs> Magnata no, don't, doesn't remember anything. Yeah, but what is the comparison there of what kind of type? We are comparing the type of the evaluation, the type checking, and the type that the guy provided us. Oh, it could... It could be uh, different. They, could, they need to be reduced. Yeah, There's it no could way. be that it... Okay, we don't have alias right now, but, but it could be... I don't think it is a case that could happen right now, but yeah, I get you. Wait, you don't need that. Equality does that, right? I don't remember. I don't think we implemented that on equality. Yeah, we, we don't. don't. We are doing that wrong. We wait. Wait, 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 wait. So we had type classes and we weren't using it. No, no, no. What we are doing is the, the opposite. Wait. Instead of implementing the equality ourselves, every single time before we apply the equality, we reduce. That's that. We decided that. That was on purpose. That cannot be like, That is what we did. I remember clearly we said You are literally saying that instead of putting reduction inside the equal, we decided to Oh, just remember to every time reduce it first. Yes, yeah. that's that's exactly what he said. Well, yeah, the past hours are really dumb then. <laughs> okay, but that's we decided to do that. 
I don't remember deciding doing that. But of okay. course we did. Thank That's you. why we did all of this. How are you so sure that that was not just oh let's we missed or we forgot yeah or something this. like that? I don't remember deciding to. Uh, no, like, I'm not saying that we said. I'm not saying, saying okay, we should use no, that. No, no, but like, we 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 purposely saw up the comparison between the types, and instead of going straight up to the equality type class, we decided to. Uh, that can just mean we would implement later or something. But it's so much work. Why would we would we would implement? What do you mean by so much work? Doing yeah, the dumb so way is worse, work man. To, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has a point there. Doesn't even wait, make wait, sense. Wait. What is the point? The point is Don't... doing the dumb way, which is the way that all the time we do equality, we do we do uh -huh. reduction. That's more work than doing the type class. That's the reason to put on the equal, right? Yes. Yeah, but we <laughs> did the opposite. It, yeah, that's that's just a. a As I said, it's dumb, right? No, yeah, that that's just a proof. If we're not like stupidly dumb, that's just a proof that we weren't thinking of the type class at the time. Yeah, yeah but let's finish the the thing first. Because I think I'm missing something there. No, I like, think... as you guys. Yeah, but now, but now that, I, that now, now that we are. Now that we, let me just think about it. Yeah, now we don't need to do that had, right now, man. Yeah, man. Now that we add, how, that's how we <laughs> ended the fake visit. Yeah, probably. <laughs> that's a, yeah, but, yeah probably. let's try not to like let anything sleep there. Uh, else. Else, you so, you, you said something else, right, Lemos? That is not one that we need to reduce, but you said something else, right, that you are forgetting, right? No, I no, I also remember, and I don't know what I'm doing, this is Asko. <laughs> <laughs> what I remember you saying is that before we do a kind a type comparison, we oh, need to kind, check. Right? That's what I remember you saying. Maybe I am mistaken. Oh, well. If I said that, and I don't think I said, I was mistaken because that's not a requirement for the equality. But what we need to do, the kind of checking is, oh, this can only be the type of a value. Then we need to kind of check, right? Wait, just, uh -huh. just a sec. I don't take the type. This is different than um, type checked, type, type checked. Obtained type this, and then you do show expected. Did you mean? And then you ask a question. That's that's how you do it on this. And then show uh, type prime. Uh, uh, Lemus. Yeah, yes. we do need to kind of check, I guess, the annotation because we need to do like without the annotations there are for values. We do need to uh, kind of check, and we need to do what with that? To check if it's a star. The other, and well, we don't need to do on the like, well, the expression because it's an expression. But now I'm asking myself: Are there other parts that we are not uh, kind of checking? I think, no, we, I think this is the fifth time you ask that. Of, um, <laughs> we reviewed oh, that important, three times. Right? Yeah, but I think that every time you had that impression, we do we say yeah. you say, oh man, we should make a pay attention to see if we're kind of checking where we need to. Yeah, but we we since we reviewed everything, we no, did already did on that. the. So yeah. you guys are saying that you have sure that the optional return of abstraction is being kind of checked. I am sure that we reviewed this two or three times at this point. That's yes. what I'm saying. Uh, okay, and, that doesn't and mean. ever since and ever since we didn't check. We didn't modify anything on the evaluator, so I don't think... Or the type checking. As far as I can remember. Abstraction, return type. Are we checking the return type? Yes. Are we? Where? We are 89. not. <laughs> we are. We Adaptate, are. return kind. Yes, we are. 89. Well, right, Where? Yes, we are. 89? 87. 87. Yeah, no, 87, this is not, oh, no, 89. No, no, that, 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 that it is. Okay, okay, we did. Okay, so the past us, uh, <laughs> they didn't. 
So okay, so where do we need? What do we need to crane check here again? I was um, the annotation. The annotation. That needs to be a star. Yes. Yeah. Wait, I'm confused. Why the heck a declare a function? I use a defined function needs to be the kind star. What is a uh, what is not a star? Uh, oh, that was a good. <laughs> No, what no, is not a like, star? Yeah, what in our thing lifts to a star? Just C. You will, you will remember, I think. Wait. Just do Ctrl F. Ctrl F. Look for the arrow K, I think. Arrow K. So that's the... should be the only case. The application. And... The Can't abstract. we make a function with the T application? Being the type? Can we make a function with the T application? Yeah, we do what? No, can't we have a a a, a, f a function with the can't the user make a for all as a type of a function? Yeah, but that's a star. Uh, for all is an expression. For all is a maybe, right? Not for all is a maybe. A arrow K is a maybe, right? I have no idea what they're talking maybe. about. Maybe. Yeah, the I maybe data type. Know. Is an example of error. Oh, yes, oh, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. We don't have maybes yet, though. So, okay, okay. I don't have any examples of s things that are not uh, stars. Well, we almost have maybes, Lemus. <laughs> Hold on to that. We are almost there. <laughs> we almost have maybes, you say. Yeah, you just uh, you just need some time. Okay, so you pick that type. So you do kind, kind check, you pick the environment, and you pass that the type prime. Oh, wait, we need to do kind check on the expected or on the one that we type checked? Expected, because it's the one that the user is doing. Yes, that makes sense. By the way, we need to check so much stuff, man. <laughs> 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 Just ask for the user to not to do shit, man. Like, <laughs> oh, I, I thought we should have gone dynamic. We wouldn't be doing types. Yeah, that's exactly dynamic, right? Yes. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, dude. Well, you still check at runtime, but less stuff. Or not? <laughs> Maybe we'll never discover. Well, if you not are doing that, then it's not a safe language. I want to do the raffle, man. I want to do the swank clone. Imagine how another level, that was how that would be. Okay, Evaluating. so is that, is, are those the only <coughs> checks that we need? <clears throat> uh, seems like it, yes. Okay, so now evaluation. Uh... Wait, let me just take a look on that code, man. Here? Uh, yeah, can you go step by step real quick? Yes. So, if you... We're gonna do a four. A fold, sorry. Uh, ignore the... No, no, no. Only like 39 and... Oh, okay. Low. So, if you have a function, uh, a declaration of a function, we're gonna type check, already adding the name of the function with the annotated type to the environment, and then we're gonna type check the provided body. Uh, of well, that function. Not not body, right? Like, it's the whole function. No, it's the body of the function, right? No, no, it's the whole function. Oh, it's because this already has the... It is the curry day abstraction, so you're right. Okay, so it is the whole function. And then you type check that, and then you kind check... Oh, the, 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 wait, wait, we need to kind check first, right? Um, that makes sense. That makes sense, actually. So you do this, then you do... Uh, I, I, I want to go back to my Emacs, man. Maggot is not even typing. Yeah, not typing, man. Just go there. And no, you no, don't no, have no, annotations. So where my, so where you, uh, we're already here, I guess. So you do that. And if we, we are fine, you're going to do this. 
and oops, that. Okay, so we kind of check first to see if the expected type is a star. If it's not a star, we say that we were expecting a star, we got something else. If it is a star, we type check the, the whole function and we check if the reduced versions of the, what we obtained type checking and the, the expected type, if, the, if they are equal. If they are equal, we just return the, the, the previous environment. Previous environment? That's wrong. What is the Oh, yeah, I forgot. We need to be returning environments, right? On declaration. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we should. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we pick that environment. And this is also missing here. And if they are equal, we just return the environment. If they are not equal, we just say the, the we say, oh, the annotated type is different than the obtained type. I think that's, that should be it. Yeah. And when you have a value, let's also go through that. When you have a value, you type check that with the environment. Uh, and then you pick, pick that type and you just update the, update the environment. I think yeah, that might be right. That might be all right, you say. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like if you were sure. Okay, so... You would say the sim or something. Oops. I was thinking about this. I want to take benchmarks of what we're doing just to crush our dreams. You mean speed? Yes. Oh, that's bad. But <laughs> you are the one that say don't care about the car. No, I don't. I just it's so see... inconsistent at that. I just try. no, no, I don't. I just want to see how bad it is. Would... Well, worse than Python, you can bet. I think the code is pretty much the same aside from the. Depends on what you call worse. Well, this is lower, right? Regarding speed. To be... Yeah, speed, yes. Okay, I think that's it now, actually. It's just a copy paste the evaluator. <laughs> yeah, David, no, 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 it is not. <laughs> it is not? Why? Why does not? Wait, uh, what? How uh, it is not? Uh, I don't think it is. Uh, so let's. I'm confused. Uh, so let's see. Can you describe you know the, for you know, me? You know the golden rule, right, Lemus? What? Don't think, just type. Don't think, just type. Yeah, better than type, like run it, right? This time, let's test. Yeah, there are errors already. this. No, 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 but there are errors because I know I don't know how to type. I guess you will have like the unbounded variable, right? Like. Okay, compiled. Yeah, that doesn't mean much. That doesn't mean much. <laughs> I'm not saying it. No, it means that Haskell is correct, but. Not that Haskell is like the running we are our program. Yeah. No, I forgot. This is a low. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. We can make but it parallel. Why better. is it slow, man? I have no I idea. I f I don't well, to be fair, slow, man. to be fair, feel... your Nix configuration can screw this over, Nata. So, for why? instance, if in your ATC Nix Nix conf you have like max score equals to one. Then oh. it's gonna be slow as fuck. <laughs> yeah. By the way, we can wait, wait, we can activate the debug mode and then it should compile the same as the other one up there. Lemos, the best. The yeah. part that is taken, it's like GHC doing stuff, right? Yeah. So... Can we do like? Did you? I think JC also has flags for like parallel. Okay. Oh wait, from. it's the parser. But, but I may, probably I am missing a bracket because I don't have color brackets, so I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, you don't have civil... based on no. the X-Men. You have now Civil War mode. We need the one, two, three. One, two, this is true for the factorial. You need mm -hmm. three oh, yeah. for the if and four for the def fun. Yeah, so I think this this is correct actually. Yeah. Try adding on the zero. I it shouldn't have one, but try. Oh man, that is no way. <laughs> oh no, it is Nick's run. This is just a change in the source code. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we we'll try to apply a value that is not a function. So that's right. So it, it is parsing the zero. Fine. Um. It should be just zero. Fine. Oh, dude, wait. What? Okay, it understood the zero as an application, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's totally good, broken, so let's remove that. Huh. Wait, is this working? So I don't understand. Uh, let me see. Yes, they... See? Correct. Is that... How is this it was not... Uh... What? I, I, oh, I, may, I may have removed some spaces from the parts that we shouldn't. Yeah, let's see. So, in the middle of somewhere, we are missing spaces. Let me see. So we see if it's a defun. Yes. Then we pick the name. There's spaces there. Mm -hmm. Then we open another delimiter for the arcs. I think this is correct. I'm pretty certain. The this many, is correct. at least one. Yes. Of couples with spaces. Yeah, I think the problem couples. needs to live in here. Yeah. So you have the type. No, but you have spaces here. The what? type, and then spaces, then another expression, then close the limiter. It could be this close. Oh. Oh no, this closes the, the arguments, yeah. Yes, that's a, this, this is the close of the function. Okay, I don't understand, but let's YOLO it. You're learning one. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> is this correct? Oh. This is do we use mm. do we use like required spaces anywhere? No. No. Yeah. So literally, that's a whole nother class of problems that we would not have with having like a lexer before. Like it yeah. would discard all the spaces, right? Yeah. Uh, just integer. X is or we, we our lexer could be just a giant vjx, right? It works. <laughs> That is next level pragmatism, man. That that's that that's <laughs> what oh dude, that's what I did on the on the LSP by the way. Yeah, you need to remember you are memeing. You should not become the traitor. Dude, I am I am at least considering learning Perl, uh, like Perl uh, rejects just for that. Just for like when I don't wanna deal with bullshit, I just parse. So you're what you mean, like you you need rejects to do the tokens. No, dude, uh, you can do a regex for everything. That's the point. It's a full state machine, man. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, well, that, that's fair, but the, I don't know, the instruction move in, in, in yeah, dude, I, assembly I, in, is in also In my opinion, incomplete. if you know, yeah, if you know enough to do regex to match a pattern match an entire language with all the possible <laughs> changes, I think that's a really big brain enough to... Wait. Integer is not a function. No, 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 this is wrong because it's using the zero. Oh, okay. Stuff. No, unbound variable factorial in the environment, type error. Okay. So we are missing something the type. Wait, type error? Yeah. Type wait, error. wait, are you sure that message is not on the wait. above function? Type error. Same type error there. Copy this error message. No, unbound factor, unbound stuff, type error is in here, it needs to be. Yeah. No, it doesn't need to be. It needs so to be. Right. What are you talking about? It doesn't need like the code could be anyway. Like no, but it was thrown somewhere. Yeah. When that is only the place that it failed, man. No, he said it needs to be here, like type checking, right? It doesn't. Yeah, need... it needs to be because no. it is saying Dude, it needs, type error. Yes. What the hell? Yeah, we could do that error message on the evaluation. Oh yeah, we could be extra dumb. I agree. That's fine. But that's not the case. We're not being extra dumb. We're just yeah, a little bit. Really yeah, wrong. so it's in here. No, no. It, this is when it tries to evolve the variable, right? So Are you using the new way? Oh. type check. No, 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 yeah. no. I know the error. I know the error. It's because uh, the repo is not aware of this. Uh, so that that means that to test, we should actually do this. Wait, why the repo is not aware? Because, because we just changed it. No, we just changed it. And I don't know if you remember, 
<laughs> like we are using the same function of the rapper, right? No, we're not. Oh, Dude, man, Commander, Look. Commander, like keeps quoting me, man. Like, quote. This is like Wait, this is, is why part? I like guessing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Lens, we have a problem there, right? Yeah, we have a problem because I need we need to update this in order to the repo to work, but that's not the test that I want to do. Hello, what I mean is they should be using the same function to do the things. Uh, unbound factorial. Wait, so you are matching there different kinds of the color. Oh, you are, right? Yeah. Yeah, I need you. So you guys can't even see the stack traces of your errors. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. That's a Nick's problem. <laughs> no, no, dude. The the stack trace of silverware. No, but I mean, like, what you do is you have an error from your parser, and then you just try to guess where it was and what happened. Yeah, we don't have a stack Written trace. Yes. Text. I think the library, guessed. the library, I think allows us to customize errors and so on. But we are not doing it because we are we like suffering. So wait, the thing is that on the parser it doesn't know because it's not adding it, the declaration to the no, environment. No, no, the problem is not the parser. The problem is the rep. Uh, Lemus. Nathan said something uh, that I think is possible. Just no, I said I said the. Like, said what is the signature of type checking a declaration? So, can we just use that function inside that other one? Yes. That's too Wait, is it declarations or declaration? It is declarations because we were thinking about parsing files. Then I guess we have... Well, not necessarily problems, right? We can pass a single tone. Then you pick the previous one, you pass the declaration there, and then if that's okay, then you do the same thing with the evolve. So evolve and declarations, you pick the previous one, and you pick the same declaration there. And if any of those explode, you're okay because the, it will explode regardless. Then, then, oh no, I can't do it this way, Nathan. I remember now why I didn't do it. It's because we want to print stuff also, depending if it's an expression or not. We just want to update the environment. Yeah, but something we have to factor out, man. Like, we have to abstract it off. That's fair. That's fair. Like, it's pretty dumb if we have to be type checking the thing in two different places, right? I agree. I agree that it's kind of dumb. Yeah, but let's just do a notation there and use the batch mode to test. What, what do you want, sorry? Let's uh, change that later because it's just like a code problem. Infrastructure problem, mm -hmm. and just use the batch mode to test. The batch mode? Oh, you mean the stack wrap? No, the nor using our wrap, right? Not using not using our repo to test because our repo is, is kind of broken at the moment because of this change. So calling the binder. Doing what, sorry? Calling the binder. No, but you don't have the binder. You what? know why? You know why? Do you want to know? Do you want to know why? Nix. Yeah. Uh, no. No, it's not because of Nix. Dude, uh, look at where he goes. Like. He hates. <laughs> he hates me so much, man. What the heck? Uh, 
You know why? Is because last time around, when we when we did the the changes in when we added the functions to evolve declarations in type check declarations, that messed around with these guys, which e oh, it was the yeah. previous executable code, and then now the executable just calls the repo. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Oh, so what this has to do with the, the changes that we did? Um, one of the side effects of changing, of adding those things, of like having functions, the main functions will now throw uh, environments instead of throwing expressions or either's of expressions. That, um, uh, to, to shortcut, probably it was a Magenta idea, to shortcut, uh, we just, instead of fixing it, this, we just uh, call the REPL. <laughs> because that was yeah, but, the... yeah, it's not that it cannot work. It's just that we haven't done yet, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not that it cannot work. It's not that it's not just not done. Um, um, but now I have to think about how we can make how we can test. Right, that mean. Oh, we fixed the repo. What do you think is easier, fixing the repo or fixing the batch one? I think, I it's think fixing the batch. The dude, can't we just call the batch? Because I remember just commenting this because Emacs, like on the mode, I couldn't parse the args. So I asked you, okay, can we remove the dash r? Oh, then it was not because of. Yeah, change. it wasn't because it was breaking. I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's uncomment this. Look at Lames. Like, just evaluate. Just type. Uh, if, if we put just on everything, you can might as well just remove it, right? What? Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't like get what you said. You have some functions there called just type check or just evaluate, right? Yeah, this is if you want to, is to have options, flags for the executable. Uh huh? Yeah, man, I explain to you this later. That's not a problem. What is a problem? Why is it still common? Oh, these ones will not work because yeah. these functions, these print message functions are changed recently. Yeah, I remember this check. hell. Oh, is that a hell? It's just that I changed the type. So, so you and broke your I... monotransformer and you can't print. <laughs> uh, that's the best box going in. Uh, we can't print. This function doesn't exist anymore. That's yeah, why we can't yeah. do it right now. Oh, no, no, let me explain here why I cannot print. No, no, but we can. <laughs> no, no, man, let me get the, the oh, thing. Imagine okay. in the meeting, right? Explain why you can't. <laughs> no, no, man. It's literally Victor explaining why he can't no, no, sort the No, no, this function doesn't exist, people. You see, it's not here. Uh, let, let me, let me, mean, uh, let me understand. Let me, let me look at me, This is not that we can't explaining. print. This no, we is... don't need that, man. We just need, okay. like, two runs. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so just need to check if execution works. <laughs> this is Leo's explaining why I can't read. <laughs> you see that maybe they <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> why can't they bring me out here? No, I can't preach here then. <laughs> oh man. Oh that's really good, my guess. <laughs> that's really good you say. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna let the compiler do the hard work for me. Nemesis is being pragmatic, for real. This is a crossover. No, it's also being done here, this function that doesn't exist. Cool. Oh, uh, what? So, main 54. 54. Uh... Okay, so let's do a Magetta style. Not thinking, That's actually the dark Magetta, right? I don't think it's the dark Magetta, I think it's just Magetta at this point. It consumed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. The, oh, dude, I forgot to say, uh, yeah, we are on the stream, I'll not mention this now, but I will debate in favor of TypeScript. Like, Why? That, that's it. So, we're, we're coming. Oh! What? Yeah, so it works. The question is why not, Lemon? <laughs> the question is why not? <laughs> <laughs> why not? Uh, um, it's me and Benny. We're both gonna defend TypeScript and Victor will defend F. Oh, of course. No, of 
course. No, no, we are, yes, of course, of course this will happen. We are dumb. So we need to do our link. Oh, dude. Okay, now I know what you're talking about. That's fucked up, my get. That's fucked up, man. After Wait. all that problem. <laughs> Wait, um... oh, uh, oh, I mean, uh, I, I know with the nullifier, didn't work. right? Oh, the, the type checking is fine thing. though, so it's just evaluation. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Can so now back? try to run in your head like the evaluation and see why is that doing. Commander is a log, man. What the heck? Commander is collecting my quotes. <laughs> Let's do this, my kids. Also, me. You need to write a book with those, Commander. I would buy it. One quote per day, I think you, you can write a book. Uh, unbound variable. So let's let's go step by step. Let's go full nineties <laughs> here. Full eighties, I guess, right? Yeah, but uh, the, what I don't understand so, is that this is basically this should at least I don't know if that's happening, but this should just pick the factorial and just like create the uh, evolve the expression to a closure, I guess. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Uh, yes. So. Uh, let me read this stuff you have here. So fun, blah blah blah. If it has a declar declaration expression, then we just what do is full. this? This is when you have. Oh, just it's an just expression. a normy expression, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Which is uh, our case, by the way. Is it? Yeah. Go to factorial. Uh, you see here, here. We have a declaration for. I need a clip of this, man. I need a clip of this. What? No, oh, but what? wait. This. <laughs> no, like it's failing here, man. I don't think so. I think it's failing here. Oh, I see. So you're saying it could not load this and then it fails here because, well... No, 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 no that... Wait. Just delete the print and run it again. It's not the print, the problem. Oh, you don't think it's the print? That's interesting. No, 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 wait. Uh... Print? Do a no, print? No. Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, the print is the problem because it's where you're calling. It's correct. It's oh, below. dude. Wait. Because what it doesn't matter how wrong the body is, it's not an error until need, you call we, it. We don't need to, to speculate, we can just run Dude, it. do like this, open the REPL and do type do of a Fibonacci. Do we have factorial there? We do. We do have factorial there. So we use yeah, the print. Yeah, but type T, like T, and see the type of Fibonacci. It's what? not... Oh, the REPL is broken, right? Broken. We can test, yeah. Uh, Folks, can I go step by step, please? Yes, of course. But we are yeah. certain it is not the... It is not <laughs> This. Yeah, so, so take a look. Uh, what are you, what variable are you using inside Factorio to recurse? X. Huh? What ver Wait, can you repeat the question? Like, what is the recursive call that you are doing inside Factorio? It's oh, like calling even... Factorio, oh. right? Yes. Yeah. Which is so not a it's a variable, order. right? Which is what? A variable call it factorial. Yes. Mm -hmm. So is that on the environment? Yes. How? I, that it's in exactly there? what I said. We already tested it. What? What I'm asking is when evaluating the body of factorial. Is that does the yeah, aim yeah. as factorial? Oh wait, your question is different, sorry then. Mm-hmm. The answer is no. And why is not? Why it's not? Mm. How is it even adding the value? The like thing that? is that like Lemus literally know the, the full answer, but he's been naive. <laughs> We are doing recursion. How do you do recursion? I, you literally you spend this? some time studying that. Dude. I don't. You said not I got impl the Not implementation wise. You have lambda calculus. Right? Yeah. And then, how do you do recursion, right? I use the like recursive functions. Yes! Where 
is that in our code? As far as I can tell, we don't have that. Yes! Uh, that's the answer. That's the answer you say. We trampled it. So, your answer is to that we need to implement the Y Combinator in our code. No, no, we, we have. Oh, at least we can do it, like. I don't know what you're going with So, this. again, again. Yeah, I don't, I lost the time already. <laughs> so, you have a factorial, right? Yeah. And when you are evaluating the body of factorial, you don't have factorial itself. Yeah, and it's clear that. that you cannot evaluate it and then pass it because, well, it doesn't work, right? No, can't we update the environment first and then call evolve? But to, but to update the environment, you have to evolve. To update the environment, I have to evolve, that's true. See? So, how do we do it? Well, we just like call fix and our function. That's it. You said oh, call fix. Yeah, I think it's the function. Yeah, the fix well, point. Well, one modifier function, but yes. Yeah. You call fix on our function, you say. Wait, let me think about that. What does that mean? Because hey, our function the... is a closure, right? No, 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 no. Go to the code example. Go to the code example. Yeah, that's before evaluating them. Uh, so you still have there, right? So if you were to use the fix, we would need to be receiving factorial explicitly, right? Yes. That's the first argument. Yes. So uh, what we do is we manipulate our abstraction, just adding the parameter first to expect for the factorial, and then we call fix passing that. And what is fix? It's just a little of expression that we will do it. Like. No, it is the fixed point combinator. That's what I got. And I, I can't see where in our code we're going to add that. Evaluation, right? Evaluation. You have an expression, you manipulate it, then you send to fix, then you evaluate it. Can you repeat the last part? Yes. Uh, so, I don't remember what was the last part, but from the beginning. You manipulate an expression to add a new parameter, expecting the explicitly like recursive call. Then you apply fix on that, and then you evaluate and put on the environment. I don't know. I, 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 I for that, I think I have the code. Wait, sorry. For that, I think I have the code. Uh, yeah, I don't have for type checking, but I'm pretty sure I have for that. So we're gonna alter the closure to be an, a different. No, no, no closures, no closures. You are not evaluating anything. So we're gonna we're gonna just change the how that's gonna work. I, and I can't I, I can't see it. I understood what you said, but I can't see it. So I'll take a look on the, the link. No, the other closure. <laughs> the other closure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Matan said in, the, in 2022 that uh, uh, the closure with, with the J is the bad closure. <laughs> That's a different closure. <laughs> okay, so where, where, what do you want to show us? Just look for left rack. Yeah, not like this. Yeah, on the yeah. ST, right? Well, I don't know. You said just look for let rack. Let underscore ret, probably. Let rack in there. I'm blind. Let what? Let rack in. 36, line 36. 36. So might not be correct because I don't think I need a letter. <laughs> you might not I don't think... Like, that's an language, why do I have a letter? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude? <laughs> but yeah, yeah just, just go with it. Like, let's see. Okay, so you have a variable name. Uh, you have a... Oh, no, 
we just just see where that is being evaluated. Like we already have that. Where it is being evaluated. Dude, control F, let frack in, man, please. Yes, here. Okay. That was fast. Uh, so you put into the set. Are you sure variable. that's the evaluation? No. That is the get unbounded variable. Apply Z combinator. Evolve. Here's the evolve. And okay. the let should be here. So you better match the recursive function. Yeah, but we don't have that, right? But okay. So do. no, we don't have this node. We don't have. That. We do. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. That's our declaration of function. Yeah. So you better okay. match that to see if it's an abstraction, and if it is, you create a recursive function prime. Which calls this again, and then you you have something called apply the combinator. I have no idea what is that. Oh, okay, that's the fixed point. And then that recursive function. Oh, okay, okay. Can you go there? I think it's up there. We saw it. No, can we, no. If you got it, can you explain it? No, a bit? go go up there. I think it will make sense if I. See. Where is it? So the Z combinator is an abstraction, blah, 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 of a body, we have an application, the pixel function. Yeah, it is much, it is recursive, the Z combinator. Mm -hmm. I think I got it, because you cannot use the same definition, so you're literally like masking the definition of the previous one. Uh, just a second. I don't know if I got this, okay. especially because we have Z combinator part. What exactly is Z combinator part? It's the, the fix for a script language. Oh. It is the fix for strict languages. What the fuck? Go to the Wikipedia. Z combinator. No, 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 no. like fix it. Fix it, yeah. yeah so search there for a strict, a strict fixed combinator. Wait for it. In a strict programming language, the echo combinator will expand until stack overflow or never hold the case of tail call optimization. The Z combinator will work in strict languages. The Z combinator has the next argument defined explicitly, preventing the expansion of Z in the right hand side of the definition. Can you zoom in? It's quite small. <laughs> It didn't help. <laughs> no, no, no. I, it's because it was yeah, control sorry, F. Sorry. <laughs> okay, here. So it is Z. Wait. Preventing the expansion of Z, G in the right hand of the side definition. Then Z, G, V is equals to G of Z, G, V. And the lambda calculus is an at the expansion of the Y combinator. Dude, that's the same solution for the same problem that I have with the the parser combinator shit. I'm not sure if I if I showed you Lemos, but I had like a beautiful solution, but doesn't work in a strict in a strict language. <laughs> then you literally just oh let that expand that so it doesn't like break, right? Uh wait, but I'm still confused because so we are kind of putting a stop to the infinite. So that's what I understood from here. We are preventing the expansion. So you know when we are like when we have the definition of fix, right? Yes. Uh, so one of the arguments it's a call, right, or something. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if that's being evaluated, like fix itself, then it doesn't work in a strict language, right? It mm -hmm. works in Haskell because you don't well, need to define everything, right? Not that you don't need it, you not evaluate if you, if you are not using it. Because of the laziness in this case. Mm -hmm. So then the way to solve is just at expand. Like the argument will be a function and not an application. Yeah, that part I got it, but our because the language that we are implementing is not lazy, we need to do this strict way anyway. Imagine a lazy lisp, man. Just think about That's it. That's fine. You have it. Um, so let me try to understand this a little bit, a little bit more clearly then. So this is the. So I'll go have dinner and I'll be back in a second. Okay. So let me try to understand this. So when you pattern match and you figure out that you have an abstraction, 
Then you create another recursive, you create a recursive function prime. I don't think we really need because we know it's always abstraction, right? We know it's always abstraction. Then you create something called closure that basically applies that fixed combinator in that recursive function. Well, I have to wrap my mind around this because that's weird. You have the fix, right? I'm applying fix on our modified function. That's it. I'm picking fix. And then he expects the next, the next argument, right? So in our case, it would be it would be not like exactly what I would say, but it would be like fix, and then the name of the the fun the, the abstraction that we are gonna pattern match, and this will be recursive, but it will not have the uh, the never halt problem. I mean, wait, I'm not sure if you understood, but should we cap? We don't want the user to be explicitly writing that he wants to take itself as an argument, right? And using the fix by hand. Yes, we don't want that to happen. So, yeah. So, what we do is we add for him, right? The receiving function itself explicitly, right? So, he doesn't need to write that. We write that for him. And after that, he doesn't need to use the fix. We do the fix for him. And no, that's that part I got. That part I got. I'm trying to understand what that means. Because well, this is not it, a fixed point that I know. This is the Z combinator, which is. But doesn't change anything. It changes because the apply Z combinator is is doing some. It's not just calling fix. It is. It is. It, it is constructing an abstraction, dude. An application, sorry. No, no, yeah. That's just applying Z combinator into F. That's applying the fix, man. Like it's calling fix or function. You don't have to write this then. You could have done apply Z combinator, Z combinator part, I guess. I'm not sure what you're saying. Uh, like, I could have inlined everything, but it's too big, man. Like, go to see what Z combinator part is. No, this is in here. So I could in mind, but right? Oh, it's bad. Okay. Well, not if you're using tuples. <laughs> yeah, but if you're doing in a sanity manner, I would say. In the same manner. It would manner. be bad in a different way, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you have one benefit of using tuples, and then you have this hell over, over here. That's not a good, uh, a good thing. But anyway, so I, man, I don't, I'm, I don't feel comfortable. I don't want just to copy paste because, well, that's not kind of my jam. I want to understand first what I'm looking at. And what I don't... part you didn't understand? So, uh, so let me try to rephrase, and then you can evaluate my understanding. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. So as far as I can tell. In order to get out of the never halt problem, we need to use the Z combinator because our language is strict, silverware. And then, in order to do that, we need to use the Z combinator. The Z combinator in in our this, the, the, in the language itself, we don't want the user being the one that will apply the fixed point combinator, the strict fixed point combinator. So we need to do it for him inside the evaluation process. Then, then what I, that's, that's the end of my understanding. And then I need to understand what is the apply Z combinator. For instance, why exactly you have to have uh, an application of an abstraction of an application? Wait, uh, yeah, I'm typing for you. Okay.
So phi, phi uh, in your example is the function f in line 135, right? Yes. Okay. So, oh, I see. Wait, okay, so apply z combinator understood. So now z combinator, that is an abstraction that picks an f. Literally, you have one little piece in the code that changes from the fix you know, and that's just a net expansion. Well, wait, repeat that last part. So, Z combinator is just the same fix that you know. It is the, the same only fix thing. That I know. Yeah, the only thing it changes is that we do at the expansion. What is the at expansion uh, expansion again? To the thing there. It is applying this on this. Uh, you see the there, like the internal, the F being applied. F being applied to here, you mean? Yeah. yeah. You see that F is being applied to abstraction. Yes. Before that was X X. Oh, okay. So at the expansion is to uh, do well. It is to do an what I, I call an application. Not recurse infinitely in the arguments. Not recurse infinitely, but you do, you are doing some sort of application to expand the thing. Okay, so applies the combinator is an application, makes sense. And then the function f is a Fibonacci factorial. And then the function that we are applying that f is the z combinator. That's fine. The z combinator is an abstraction that picks a function f, that makes sense. Because otherwise, this application would not make any sense at all. So this needs to be an abstraction. So is this z combinator part uh, like a lambda x dot x or lambda f? I, you can see like that. Because this, okay, it's literally the parentheses. Just pick a parentheses. This uh, after the f. Here. After the f bind, no, no, see where the f is being here. bind. Yeah, so yeah, get this parenthesis and like select until the oh shit. <laughs> uh, so it so, is yeah. this to this, yeah, you well, see, it like is this, this to this. Wait, wait, uh, you see that you have like a mirror, a mirror there, yes. So, yeah, each part of that is the same, that's why they are abstracted off. Oh, so this and so they are applying on each other, are right? The z combinator parts. Yes, because they are equal, right? I see. Okay, now let me read what that is. So that is an abstraction that picks an x. Okay, and it's going to return a variable f. Well, so it's basically exactly this. Yes. I guess. Z is all of this crap. So Z is this, right? Then you are calling apply Z. I, I'm guessing is this Z G then is this? I don't know what you what you were looking at. Here, Z G, Z G. What a bad two letters together. ZG, I think it supplies the combinator. Wait. Hello? I didn't hear anything that you just said. No, I was muted. I was, oh, okay. I was sneezing, right? Uh, so, yeah, there is the thing of fix. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, forget about the V. Okay. Right? Okay. That's like fix f is equal to f fix f, right? That's a property of the fixed point. Well, yeah, so that's no, like no. the definition. No, but there's a theorem, a theorem about it. Like that f fix of f is equal to f fix of f. That's like. Sure, but what I mean is that's the definition of it, right? And after that, it's. 
it turned into like a recursive. To do it. <laughs> so <laughs> it's too short for so, so you pick that Z, you apply the G. Uh, yeah. And, and then, then it expects the next argument, right? And then it expects the next argument, you say. No, you mean you mean that the, the G is expecting this, right? V. We are not passing V, right? Yeah, but where is G then? That's another question. Well, G is the recursive function. Oh, so, so everything in here is actually G, Z, G. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, V will be and we actually call the resulting recursive function. Yes. So then you evolve the the G Z G. The the what? The the G Z G. G Z G. Z G. Oh yeah, G Z G. Yes. Yes. Okay. Then you evolve that, and then that will give you a function. That makes sense. Yeah, closure. Um, and then you add to the variable name that final closure. Yeah, and we are done. And then we are done, you see. <laughs> yeah. What a nightmare. Wow. It is not. Yeah, it is, because it, this is so much harder than just calling fix. No, no, that's literally just fucking calling fix, man. No, I'm not saying it is not the same effect. I'm just saying it's so much work in order to do just a w fix. It's all of that. It's not the calculus, right? Yeah, it's strict. So you need no, to... that's not why it's strict. If it was lazy, the only thing that would change would be the add expansion. Uh, if it was lazy, the only thing that would change would like be the you are writing lambda terms, like they are big as hell. <laughs> you're, you're, you're big yeah. As hell. So if you go into the Wikipedia, <laughs> look at the non-strict version. It's the fucking same thing. It does. It only changes the expansion. So there, like you would still have to write that. Oh, but instead of Z, you have the Y. Yeah, that's the name, right? And... Oh, okay. So this is the one that I know. Let me look again at the strict one. Why don't you do side by side? <laughs> yeah, because I need, because they are not close to each other. Like open to windows. <laughs> Oh, I see. Okay, this makes a lot more sense after looking at that one. Because the V is a is a lock. You are locking the halting process. Okay. No, I, I don't know what you mean by halting process. That's not... No, the halting process. That's exactly what it is written in here. So... Ah. Yeah, so the V is acting like a... Like we are making it is, out, right? Yeah, exactly. So the V is like a key that you are locking the door to saying, stop, Th that, wait. That sounds like a bad thing to say, but like, bad way to explain, but yeah. No, for me, it makes sense because for me, I'm, I'm more familiar with the Y one, not the Z one. No, no, lock and stuff. I don't think that's a good way to explain, but... No, I mean, if you're not familiar with the idea of... Um, not halting and set and stuff, okay, but... No, using lock terms, man. Like, you no, literally just say... No, not lock in terms of concurrency, not lock... I imagine no, a key... No, yeah, no, yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Oh, that, okay. You could, just, okay. you could just say the following, dude, straight language, therefore, you put the arguments first to be evaluated. But if it is a recursive call, it doesn't halt. Then, how does it halt? Well, just put inside an abstraction. Because it will be the same. Yeah, because you, you will stop the expansion when you put in yeah, the Yeah, it only works if it's an, an abstraction, right? The result of that application is an abstraction. And since we know it is, then that expansion is equivalent. <laughs> okay, so... Ah, no, wow, this was... Ah, I'm so tired. <sighs> But okay, this makes sense, this makes sense. I am understanding things. So...
so I think we can actually, instead of doing as you did, having an apply, we can just call it down there. So this needs to be an abstraction as far as I can tell. We need to pattern match that. So really? that needs to be a closure, I guess. Not really. Doesn't really need to be a. No, it, it needs you, but we know it is. Oh no no! We need to pattern match the uh, the expression. Yeah, but. Like, we, we know it is an abstraction. Yeah, that's fair, but... <laughs> um, yeah, but this is wrong. This, 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 is, this is not correct, this. Because what we need to do, we need to do the... Oh, it's the kind of correct. You still will do exactly that same piece of code. The only difference is that the expression not... will be modified. Exactly. So then we do do... And then we start with our lets. So we're going to have a let here. That let will be to do the apply. But the apply is just creating an... an so this is going to be new expression. And it's going to be a new application of the Z Combinator with expression. Uh, I guess. I'm not 100% sure. No, no. Modify the expression. Expression we have to do a... Abstraction that receives name and has expression as body. Let's receive what, sorry? Uh, the name, the parameter name is name. The parameter name is name. Here? The variable name. Oh, the variable name. <laughs> so we, also, we actually need... So let's pick this type here and just pass it to here. Because yeah, we kind of need... And then the boy will be this. Well, actually, it could be any type there. We will not check. <laughs> exactly. <it. laughs> but yeah, since we have it, right? <laughs> we happen to have it. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's yeah, that's okay. Okay, so now we just need to to make the function z combinator. And you need to use the new expression on there, right? Yes, I need to. And I don't know why you have a different view there. I don't. This is wrong. Okay, 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 uh, I'm, that's fine. The Z Combinator, uh, I, I actually think we just need to do this guy outside because the, the Z Combinator is actually a little bit small. So we can say the Z Combinator is a new abstraction that receives, we said there, F. We need a type. I don't know what the heck we're gonna do with that, but um, can we do, can we infer the type of this? Wait, uh, what are you doing? I'm doing the Z combinator. What is the type of uh, of the Z Combinator? If it is the same thing, really, speaks, really, can... really interesting. If I it guess it's same... for our A, it, it receives A to A and returns A to A, right? Wait, if it is the same as the the Haskell one, we can cheat. I guess you don't need to put any type in. Just use unit. Okay, so that's about the function. Oh, it was wrong when I said one last A. Okay, so it's a for all A, arrow A, A. I'm back. Is it working? Holy <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? Wait, say say something again. Uh, A, B, C. You're oh, pretty cute, wait. Okay, say it You're again. You're pretty cute, not there. You're pretty cute. Oh, now it's okay. Because my volume was really high. Okay, so let's not do that right now because we we want to we are in my get style. Just use unit level. Yeah. I started to get offended by this, by the way. Really? <laughs> I think I, I think I should I should stop. I should. So instead of complaining, stop being like this. <laughs> I should put an end to this facade. <laughs> it worked. The reverse psychology worked. <laughs> Proved. That's not reverse psychology, man. 
It is. Really That's like reinforcement of what's the name? For better. Like the thing of like spring water on the dog when he's like misbehaving. <laughs> Pavlov's dog. Yeah, is that the name of the science that did the test yeah. of? Oh, Pavlov. Yeah. Pavlov. Yeah. I'm starting to to get offended. That that was the worst. Though. Then they will say, "Oh, that was the intention." <laughs> but to be honest, I don't think it was. Benny is really traumatized with the tagging. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm really getting bullied by my nightmarish code base at work. Yeah, I really. Do you like? Can you stop recording? And like, I guess we are almost done, right? No, I can or stop. Or do you want for us to? Okay. No, I will stop. <laughs>